All right, so this is what we need to know. For topics 9-1 and 9-2, it's all about how fractions are division. And I drew this picture here to show you exactly what I mean. If I showed you this looking by yourself, you would know that that circle is divided into thirds, right? And we call it one third. Uh, if we shaded in one of those things, it would be one third. Uh, if we shade another one, it'd be two thirds, three thirds, right? But these are all thirds. And a different way of saying oh, that I could see one third is this is one circle divided into three parts. And that's pretty easy to, to look and see. You could see the circle and you could divide it into three separate parts. That's how you know that fractions are division. You could do the same thing with a rectangle. You could say that that rectangle now, I mean, this should, should be a little more even, uh, but that's a rectangle divided into four parts, right? And that's going to equal one fourth, one rectangle divided into four parts, okay? So what you have to do as you look for things, just know that this fraction equals one divided by four. This fraction equals one divided by three. If I had a fraction that was Can you still see that? Yeah, you got good. You call this 10 halves if you want, or since we're in a division unit now, we can call this 10 divided by two. 10 divided by two or 10 halves is going to equal, if you simplified it, it would equal five over one. And then five over one is gonna equal five. Just as you know, the same way as if you wrote this as a division problem, 10 divided by two, that's a third grade problem right there. So really it's just looking at fractions in a completely different way, looking at it like they are division. And that's all what nine one and nine two is about. Okay. You're going to see problems that show you that it's uh, five divided by three. And how would you write five divided by three? So if you had a, I'll just make a little side box over here you would write five divided by three as a fraction. What does that equal? It equals five thirds. And again, if you simplified that, which would be important to always simplify, five thirds is going to equal one and two thirds. So five divided by three, if you skip this middle step, equals one and two thirds. That's what this is about. Now, if you look on page 534 in your math book, at the very top of that page, it tells you three friends are going hiking. They brought one tub of trail mix to share equally how much will each friend get, right? So there's two ways you can look at that problem, all right? We know that they have one tub to share between three people, so that would be one third. However, that picture on 534 tells us that it is four pounds of trail mix. That's a lot of trail mix, oh my God. <laughs> All right, so they have four pounds of trail mix, so you have four things. Can you still see? I have to put it a little bit, right? So you have four pounds divided by three friends, if you wrote that as a fraction, you're dividing the four divided by three, it's going to equal four thirds or four over three. How much does each friend get? Well, they each get four thirds. They get one and one third pounds of trail mix. All right, so that's really what the gist of this unit is. Reading word problems, like the one on page 534, or reading regular division problems and transforming them into fractions. I'm gonna pause right now. All right, I wanna show you one more thing when we're looking at fractions as division. And it's really like how you're gonna think about these problems. Let me hold up my giant poster here. All right, so this ah. <laughs> All right, so this is really what you're looking at. 
it's this part right down here, right? You have to think, what are you splitting up? Because you can easily get these two things confused. Two friends share three apples. You might write down here two over three, right? That's not going to be the case because you're not dividing the friends. You're not chopping up the friends into, oh my God, three pieces. That'd be scary, right? You are going to share three apples amongst two people. So what are you splitting up to share in this? Or what are you dividing? It's going to be the apples, right? So the apples have to go on top. That's going to be three divided by two friends, right? So three apples divided by two friends. What is that fraction going to be? It's three over two, all right? That's really what you need to remember. And this is probably the most important thing about this lesson, all right? Because you can easily get, if you look at questions number, uh, if you look at questions number 14, 15, 16, uh, 17, you could get those confused if you're not thinking, what are you actually splitting up? All right, don't forget that about this lesson.